Hi, I'm Dee Lovey Life, and thanks so much for stopping by my channel. It is declutter time. I am going to attack the laundry room cabinet up here. We have been storing just so much stuff in there like throughout the years. I really don't know exactly what's in there, so your guess is as good as mine. But I do have my box here, so let's get started. Okie dokie. I have my step stool here. We are going to open up the cabinet doors. Oh my. <laughs> okay, so I have two more bleach bottles and I can't shove. I've been shoving just things around here. Look, obviously my husband has been doing the same too. O-M-J, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody else's cabinet look like this? Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. Okay, so I placed a towel over my dryer and um, I wish I can take everything out and place it onto like a full big old counter, but I just don't have the space. So I think what I am going to do is I'm going to attack each section. So I'm going to attack this section here. I already started off with these. These are halogen 60 watts. I think these are for our security um, sensor light in our backyard. So that is definitely a keeper, but I'm going to put that there. Um, let's see, what else do I have? I have shout. And then Clorox. Let's see. Okay, so I'm a couponer if you're new to my channel. And these were like free or money makers like maybe about two years ago. So I have these all in here at the moment. Um, this is a uh, 30 minute in dryer cleaner, no fading. I have never used this. Let's see, is there an expiration date on here? I don't think there is. I have never used this. I'm not too sure if I'm going to as well. So I think for me, I think that would be a safe to get rid of. Here are two things for the air freshener. So I'm just gonna leave those there. This here is a fabric finish we do use that heavy starch my husband's in military if you're if you're new to my channel so he does definitely use this for, sometimes for some of his uniforms that he has to keep up with spot remover i use this for my upholstery cleaning these obviously these are like really old so i gotta look through that those are some documents there okay this is a little tricky Ooh. these are just let's see um, I had this on my shelf here before and I really didn't like it so some of these I can probably toss out um, again I'm gonna keep them right here go back up here here's some more you know I don't know why I'm not using those I think it's just because they're out of sight out of mine and so therefore I just don't have them um, here we go with some more Febreze um, these are those car thingies um, Definitely need to use those up. These are some old ones. I can probably toss those out myself. And then let's take out this section here. So the things I do really want to keep are basically almost everything except for some of these. These are kind of old. I think these can, those can just be tossed, I think. These, because I have these new ones. So I think any of the old ones is okay to get rid of so I'm going to go ahead and toss all of those because I have these new ones here these are all like the starter oh I could put that one in my bathroom okay yep all right so these I'm going to keep that leaves this empty um this one oh look the, it looks like it no there's not any and then I can go ahead and toss that one too all right so I can actually put these in there. This, I need to put one in my car. Because the one that I have, these smell so good. These are awesome. I love it how they figured those out. Okay. Uh, these, I do like using these. I don't think I have any refills though. But, um, the, oh, 
Oh, look at that. When I say that, I'm like, I don't think I have refills. Okay, so these are the Glade, the old Glade. I don't think we, wait, before I even say that, uh, scented, these are the old Glades. I don't think that they would fit in these ones. These are the wicks. Nope. So I think, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of, here's another one, get rid of those because I don't think I have any more of the old Glade. This is the new stuff. Okay. So, I'm going to keep these here because I do like those. I like to put those in my bathroom. This one, I should probably figure that out and put that into our um, entryway. So, I'm going to use that. This one, I'm going to actually put that one in our bathroom downstairs right now. And then this is going to go into our Denali, so that should be good. So, now I can put all of these back. So I placed the basket there and then the rest of the stuff there just for now. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to keep those there or not. I now have these bins and this one free. So I'm definitely going to save these just in case if I need it. This here can actually be done there. Okay. And then this I think is going to go on the very top. So that is all right. This part here, that can be tossed. Oh wow, look at this. This is old. Compactor deodorizing liquid. Yeah. <laughs> and then calcium, definitely want to keep that. Lysol. This is like at its end. I'm going to throw that one away. Um, color mass almond. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of this out and place it on the tail. Okay, so we have um, lime away. But we also have the calcium... This one does calcium, lime, and rust. This is just dissolves hard water buildup or in contact. So now we can get rid of that one. I'd rather just keep that. This is kill flea eggs. Um, I think I might just keep that just in case because we do have our neighbor's dogs and all that. This is a fabric and upholstery cleaner. Yes, we need that because a kitty. This here, I don't know why it's in here, but that should go into our shed in the back. Goof off. Um, yeah, that needs to be in the garage. This be garbage, garbage. This is, yeah, garbage. These, I really don't use these, but I don't want to also um, get rid of them because who knows. I'll just keep that there. This here F aircraft cabin air freshener. <laughs> okay, we need to toss that out. Uh, this is Scotch Guard. Look, it's brand spanking new. And since my husband uses things for military, I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. This here is what a dust handle for a mop refill. Yeah, I don't even have this mop, so that can also be tossed. And this here is microwave oven parts which i'm sure is like we don't really have that microwave anymore so that can be gone garbage and then here is another light so i gotta keep that there so this is what i'm going to keep this is <laughs> look at that small little shelf too funny so let me go ahead and clear all this out and then um put it on the towel like really look it's like really wedged in there I'm scared to take this thing out. Oh my God, please don't shatter. Oh, got it. This is what was all up there. That little section there. Tubular lighting. I don't know what we use these, if we still need them or not. Appliance. I'm guessing... I can't really throw really any of the stuff away because, I mean, far as the light bulbs go because I'm really not too sure exactly where everything goes. I think this one goes to one of our bathroom lighting, like for the vanity area. And then like these little things, I don't really wanna throw away because um, just in case if we do use them for some type of appliance. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put this all in a bag and then go through 
this with my husband. I think that's probably the best thing for me to do. And then here I found all of these um, ant stuff here. Um, God, that one's pretty old. I'm going to just get rid of that one. Oof. So kills ants, grants ants, and then we have one fly paper. This one cracks me up. Um, this is so damn... Uh, Tacky. I hate when my husband puts something like this um, in our back room. It just looks, uh, fly paper. We're like, really? But then again, it does do the trick, but we haven't had any problems with flies. And so obviously this has been up here for a while. And anytime he puts this damn thing up, I hate it. It just looks so damn tacky. It looks ugly. Reminds me of my grandpa's house. <laughs> But I will go ahead um, and keep it just in case because, you know, no one doesn't like to have flies in their house. The regular light bulbs, I have no problem putting back. So I just, I just put them there. And then I put the ant and the fly paper there. So that will work. So the first two bottom shelves are somewhat done. Now I got to attack the last shelf above. Okay, this is from that one section above, which is right there. <laughs> And so let's see, carpet cleaner, definitely I um, want to keep this. We have the upholstery um, carpet cleaner machine, so I want to keep that. Skunk odor eliminator, Oh, this reminds me of our beloved bear. We have this beautiful husky and half German shepherd dog named Bear. And um, poor guy, <laughs> he got sprayed by the skunk at least five times around here. We have um, some skunks that like to... Um, breed around here so the mama and the babies yeah not good so that we don't need anymore and well as nature's miracle this is a skunk odor remover as well I highly recommend any pet owners there that are looking for a really good skunk odor remover this is probably the best one um, so I highly recommend the nature's miracle that worked like a charm for him we've tried tomato juice i mean the whole thing poor guy okay so this is a wilson's leather protector i have really never used this this is probably like about 10 years old so i don't think i even trust it look how dusty it is i wouldn't even trust it to even um spray on any any of my leather goods um, this is empty, so this can be used, so I'm definitely going to be saving that. My plant shine, I absolutely like using this on my indoor plants. It works awesome. Ant roach spider killer, yes, I'm going to keep that one. That one's an okay one. Um, this one really does great for spiders, the tarot. I would highly recommend that brand as well. That one stays on for at least, I think it's like three months or something like that. It's great. Resolve triple uh, carpet stain remover. Yes, we need that because of kitty. And then also this is a another of those bathroom vanity light bulbs. So I got to keep that one as well. Okay, now next, the last section there. Okay, this is all that was up there. Um, I have a brush which I can completely use for our my fireplace cleaning. Um, this is just a sponge. Uh, probably could use that somewhere else. This is, what is this in here? It's like suction thing. I don't know exactly what that's for. So we're going to place that in the bag for the husband to look through. Um, here we have some smart energy light bulbs. I'm not a fan of these. I mean, I am all about smart energy, but I just don't like the white light. <laughs> so we have some more here. I just really like the old light bulbs. Um, I think that's a, an escapee there. Um, <clears throat> but definitely we'll be using these um, in some of our uh, lamps. So that is going to go with all the light bulbs there. We have one duster for like the keyboards and all that stuff, which we definitely use. We have a computer um, for our security that's... Um, that gets pretty dusty where it's at so this is works awesome for so i will definitely keep that but that needs to go in the garage now these are the uh, magnetic door 
and window alarms. These are awesome if you don't have like an alarm installed in your house. Um, highly recommend these. These work great. We have these in certain um, doors. So um, I need to put those. Where should I put these at? I don't think they basically, I don't think they belong in here. So I think these something like this should go into our garage. So that's going to go in our garage. These are, um, <laughs> I found three boxes of these. These are moth balls and I don't even use moth balls. Um, wait, yes. Actually, we got these not too long ago, but I can't remember why we got mothballs. Um, it had to do with something. It's supposed to keep something away. And we put these around in the backyard. Um, I cannot remember why. Why we had these. Was it for the possums? Um skunks or something they don't like mothballs so we actually had these in the backyard why we have three boxes i don't know <laughs> but um it was for some critter i don't remember what it was for let's see termite and carpet ant killer this is pretty new this is for indoor and outdoor use in the um, summertime, sometimes we get some ants in our backyard on our patio, so my husband likes to use these. So um, I'll go ahead and keep that for him. This will go into the garage. So let me go ahead and put everything back. Okay, so this is going to be the box that I need to go through and toss all these items out. If it's the garbage or donating or whatever, um, that is what I'm going to get rid of. These items here are the ones that need to be located either in the garage or the shed. And let's check this out without me falling. <laughs> here we go. This is the end result of the cabinet now. And I kind of categorized it. This is all of my laundry items. And before, the vinegar back there and Clorox was on the side of my dryer. And now I had extra space, so I just placed them all together. And this is perfect because I have my washing machine right here. So all I got to do is just open and I can grab Shout It or I can grab Bleach, whatever I might need. My starch and everything is there and then my glade and febreze and all that i just kept right there for right now just so i can easily grab it and then these are all of our like um carpet uh stain removers cleaners clr and then this area here is going to be all light bulbs and then this area here is like all pest control stuff and i added this right here because it fit just perfect in that section but I did want to tell you guys about this. This is something that we purchase at our county fairs called Refresh Shoe Cleaner. If you have like white shoes or even the soles of anything that's, you know, like white soles, perfect for sneakers. Um, it cleans and it brightens and it really works. One of these days I'm going to have to do a video about that. That is just the coolest product. I really like that. And that just fits perfectly there. So I just added that there. Now, the only thing I would like to do maybe is maybe invest in some bins so that I can um, store like, you know, just put them all together and then label those. I think that would look really nice. And another thing, I need to get rid of that. <laughs> so I need to upgrade to my um, shelving paper as well. So not bad. Um, that looks much better. It's a little bit more organized and I got rid of all of that and um, in this, so I'm happy. Thanks a lot for watching and please check out my other videos down below in the description box and hope you guys are having a great day. Get out there and declutter.